Uh, it's, it's hard to tell, but I think the leadership in the group is very good. Um, you know, a number of guys stepping up, making comments. Um, a lot of guys wanted to talk tonight about, you know, what we should be focused on and what we should be doing. Um, and, you know, when you're a coach and you step back and the players are talking about the right things before the game, during the game, at halftime, uh, you know, it's, it's a good thing. It's a great thing. I'm very proud of that. Um, I think it was just the energy of the, the opportunity to play in a huge game in a, in a final at home. Uh, and we knew that, uh, you know, we had to put a lot of work in this year and that, uh, you know, this was going to be the fruition of it. We'll go to the middle. Um, nothing that I recall, uh, you know, my, my job lends itself more to be, uh, day in, day out, looking at what, what can be improved in, in the team and then maybe more specifically in the individuals. So, uh, I didn't look at it that way for, for, for most of the season. Um, I'll tell you this, I, I knew from early on that we were going to be a good team and I knew that we were going to be competitive, uh, week in, week out. Um, and, uh. You know, I knew we were gonna could be be very tough to play against, uh, and I knew we were gonna be in every game we ever we we played this year. So I knew that pretty early on. Stayed right with Matt. First off, congratulations! Congratulations on the uh, championship. Uh, at the end of last week's sort of shootout winner, uh, you, I asked you about the fatigue factor uh, going into this match. How did you prepare for it? How do you think the team responded today? Yeah, I mean, we tried to do the best we could during the week to make sure that we were getting recovery, gave an extra day off, um, made sure the training was was done in the proper manner, um, you know. But we still had still a number of our guys training with the first team, and you know, um, I I th certainly was knew that that could be an issue, but we felt pretty confident that uh, the group would be strong, and you know that we would put a, a great effort out because it was you know it's a final, so the guys are going to pour their hearts into it. Go to the right with Anthony. Your team seemed really prepared for this game. Uh, what kind of um, strategy do you, come, do you guys work on? Um, did you guys watch a uh, Swole Park game um, in training, or was this really all about just keeping to the playing style that you guys have had all season? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we weren't going to change much no matter who we were going to play. Um, but yeah, we had a whole week to prepare for a final, so uh, you know, watched a number of other games and had our staff watch the games and. You know, at our club, we work tightly to, together as as a as a unit with first team and second team, and um, you know we had input from from a lot of different uh, people in the club, and uh, you know we we try not to burden the players with too much information, but at the same time try to give them the best information we could that would help them along the way, and uh, you know that was little conversations, that was a couple video sessions, you know we did have one of our longer video sessions um, this week, but. Uh, it was more, I, I definitely, every time I showed them video or mentioned something, it w I, I always finished my thought with, we're going to do what we do. We're going to do what we do. So, um, you know, I was, I was glad to see our guys really stick to, to, our, to our plan. I'm going to go back to the middle. Coach, having been a player for the Red Bulls for so long and now being a coach of a team, does, do you feel, how do you feel being the coach of the first Red Bulls team to hoist a trophy? Yeah, I actually let myself think about that this week, um, not for too long, uh, but it feels great. I mean, listen, I, w I was proud before the game. Uh, I'm proud after the game. Uh, I knew we were going to put a good effort out there. Uh, I knew we put a lot of work in during the year. Um, these guys have been great. I mean, when you have a team that's, you know, from when you have different heroes each and every week, when you have guys that when you when you change players from week to week and, and everybody seems to step up, um, you know, that's a, that's a good feeling as a coach because you know that the, the message is coming through and the, and the guys are uh, together and uh, buying in and uh, pushing themselves and picking each other up and, and doing all the things that, that we would call uh, uh, teamwork. So, Go to the left, Nicholas. After they pulled the goal back to one, they'd obviously put in a pretty strong shift in the second half. What did it say to you that the team really seemed to respond, find another gear, to put the game away in those final 10 minutes. Yeah, it was a strange uh, situation in that I didn't think our response in the second half was great. And I think we let them 
get us a little bit in the second half. We weren't quite as good as we were in the first. Uh, and then when they scored, I think there was a, a time of uneasiness, but it quickly turned into, no, nah, we're getting back to what we do. We're going to step up the field. We're going to be aggressive. And, uh, you know, after a couple, you know, anytime you're, you're up two and you give up one, uh, there's a, a, a moment of uneasiness. But, you know, that's probably one of the proudest moments I had of, of the season was, you know, in a tough situation where, you know, it would have been easy to, to get a little tight and, and to be concerned. Uh, our guys were, were aggressive and proactive and, and went after the game in a way that, that said, you know, we're, we're not giving this away. Yeah. You played in uh, several leagues during your playing career. What makes the USL unique compared to other leagues that you played in or um, in the system last year? Yeah, what I, what I can say is what, I, what I've seen over the last couple of years is that it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting league in that uh, you get a big mix of different types of players, different different teams, different uh, ownership groups. Um, you see a lot of different towns, and uh, I really enjoyed uh, the challenge of working through a USL season. In that, you know, each and every week was a different team and a different way of st a style of play. And uh, it's the league has certainly grown over the last uh, few years. And you know, with the addition of of the MLS uh, reserve teams. Uh, it, it's got an interesting dynamic, and it's it's a lot of fun to be a part of with the the combination of uh, different styles of play and different uh, ages. A lot of younger players, the ability to use academy players. Uh, I think it's a fantastic way to go about um, you know providing an environment for young uh, amateurs and pros to to uh, further their careers and, and improve and develop. And uh, you know, I think tonight was another example of that competitive, good soccer game that guys can pour their hearts into and, and improve from. All right, it's Matt. Throughout the year, you saw a number of players graduate to Red Bull senior team, uh, Sean Davis, Tyler, uh, Aaron. Who are some of the next players uh, as the next crop that you can see making the jump in the next year or two? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I take a lot of pride in my work and, uh, you know, hope it's everyone. I know that's not the case. Uh, but, you know, I, I think a number of guys have really shown that that, uh, you know, they deserve an opportunity to show what they can do, whether that's uh, with Rebel 2 or Re Rebel 1 or someplace else. I, I, you know, the way the group came together and worked was, you know, it was due to the fact that there were no weak links and that everybody was was in it and willing to work and, and improve and, and go about their business in an honest way that said, listen, I'll listen to you and, and hear what you think about what, what I can improve on. And guys have gone about that. Uh, you know, I, I think Florian and Vincent, uh, you know, had excellent ends of the year, ends of the season, and you know, showed showed more of that tonight. Um, you know, there's, you know, I'm proud of the, the academy guys stepping up and Kevin O'Toole and you know. Being a high school a kid that's in high school that uh, you know is training with our U18s during the week and then comes and plays in a USL final on the weekend, it's a uh, you know for him to put in an effort like that is impressive. And uh, you know I, I can name a number of guys up and down the the roster, but uh, you know those are definitely a few. We'll take two more questions starting in the middle. Um, yeah, like I said, hopefully a number of our guys sign an MLS contracts and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going out and finding new guys to replace them. Uh, I, I take a lot of pride in, in taking a player and hope, helping them get better and finding ways, whether it be uh, technically or tactically or mentally, just try and find ways to, to improve and get better. And, you know, a lot of that is, is motivation based. So I, I, you know, I'm always looking for for the next young player to uh, give him a little push or pull or whatever needs to be done and, and, and see where we can get.